Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel and if you happen to be new here, welcome to the Painted South. So if you happen to have watched my last video, I decorated the dining area in the kitchen and in the next video we were going to decorate the rest of the kitchen, but I have so much that I want to share with you, sort of a vlog style video, that I thought I would do this video now and then I would have the decorated kitchen up in the next video and one of the reasons is I wanted to show you how our kitchen looks and all of the issues that we have with it before I decorate it it's our kitchen is I'm very grateful to have our kitchen it does have a lot of cosmetic issues and some functional issues and and so I thought I would sort of share the kitchen I cleaned everything out so it's bare so I thought I would go ahead and share that with you and then in the next video we will be decorating that and you'll see how I try to disguise and hide some of those things if possible or draw attention away from them but we all have issues in our home right we all have to sort of work around things um, you know we would love to do redo the kitchen we'd love to do a home makeover but what I want to do with the kitchen is a very involved process I wanted to open up the wall behind where the stove is to go in and use the laundry space it's a lot of stuff we want to do so for the rest of this year and until I don't know when, we're going to leave it as it is. So I'm going to share that with you. And I also wanted to share with you some recent finds. I found some stuff for the front porch. You can see one of those urns right there. And I'll show you what was wrong with those and with the deal that I got on those. And I also found two more recliner chairs, if you can believe it, on Marketplace. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to share a lot of things with you, and I'm going to be out and about today as well. So let me show you kind of what's going on here on the front porch, and you'll probably hear some road noise in the background. So let's just get started in this video. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so this is the front of our house. It is looking kind of rough because the grass needs mowed. There's a lot of leaves on our metal building out there. That's my husband's shop. And we did get a new roof a year ago, so that's great. And we tried to do a little bit of landscaping, just threw some stuff out here to try to make it look a little better. And things are getting overgrown or looking rough, and so <laughs> it needs some maintenance. And I'm going to be doing this in a future video when I decorate the porch. Oh, right there's a hummingbird. I don't know if you can see it. Well, that was neat. Got to see another hummingbird. One of the stragglers left behind. So I guess I will keep those feeders out. Anyway, so this is what I need to be working on in the next few weeks as we get closer to the end of October. I have a lot to do on the inside, but I wanted to sort of catch up with you guys and show you what's going on out here. Lots of help needed out here. We want to do like a rock border and some stepping stones and do a walkway, maybe do a concrete walkway or some pavers or something. So there's a lot of things that need done on the outside of the house, but we're just going a little bit by a little bit. You can only get so much done, right? So you may remember these planters that I purchased and I love them and I want to use them year round. These plants are hurting. They they got so scorched by the sun and I've, you know, sort of deadheaded and tried to trim them and they keep coming back, but they're really starting to look scraggly. And actually this one looked almost 100% dead maybe like two or three days ago and it still has a lot of new growth coming out. So they need a little bit of work, hopefully you know, they'll last a little bit longer, but once things start looking really, really bad, I'm just, I just sort of have to do away with it and tidy everything up for the fall. These will be going, um, this was from Christmas last year. It was almost dead. I just had a little piece of it. So this is doing very well. It's thriving. So I'm going to try to keep that alive inside over the winter and have these ivy plants. You saw that I shared, I painted these pots and a textured finish um so these will be eventually coming inside i believe or i might put them in the planters for the fall i'm not sure now these fuchsias this one's doing fairly well keeps coming back and blooming and then this one is struggling i don't know what happened um, we have a lot of toads that have been getting in our plants or they were and i don't know this one is just it's not doing well. So 
I don't know how long that will last or if I can, you know, do anything with it. But the whole porch just needs a makeover. But let me show you. This is what I wanted to mainly show you. I got these two urn planters. Now, these were at Lowe's, and they're normally $89.99, I think. $89.98, something like that. And I've been wanting some large urn planters, but they're very expensive. And I love the concrete ones, but to move those around, it just murders my back. I mean, it is, it's very painful. And we had some before and they were just too heavy by the time you got dirt and everything in there. So these are the super lightweight ones. And these were not on sale, but we went and I was like, you know what? I just want to get two. And the tag where they were on the shelf said fifty nine ninety eight or something like that. I'll, I'll insert a photo. So we grabbed two and the paint was coming off. Like when you removed this plastic, a lot of them were damaged. So here you can see where the plastic was and when you took it off, it pulled the finish right off of these things. So um, we were able to get these at a nice discount. The manager, we talked to the manager, we're like, look, these are all totally chipping apart and some of them were cracked down here. They had some damage on the bottom. So we were able to get these for 50% off. So I got both of those for $90. They were they ended up being $45 a piece. And so, um, yeah, I was so happy to get those. I love the shape. There is a little bit of design without being too ornate. And our home is very casual. So as much as I love the super ornate French ones and all of that, it's just a little too much for a house. I mean, I have, I sprinkle some of that in here and there, but in general, our house is pretty casual. So I'm really happy to have found those and these will be going by the front door or I might put them right here. I'm not sure. I have to figure out what I want to plant in there and I'll be doing that for the fall porch makeover. And yeah, the rest of the porch is just stuff piled up, random plants. Uh, I've moved all of those there. A lot of things I want to have to put inside and stage in an area that gets some sunlight. And so I'm just sort of riding it out. It's still really nice outside. And so I've just been sort of leaving them out here. Now, after the last time the guy that does our lawn, after he comes and mows, I will be cleaning this porch once again. You've seen me do it. It gets absolutely filthy. I've scrubbed this porch, I think, two or three times this year. And so that's going to be an ongoing thing, I suppose. But I'm going to be replacing a lot of this stuff. This vine is going crazy. And these are doing really well. But yeah, it, it gets really dirty. And it's just sort of a hot mess out here. So anyway, I will be working on this in a future video. And I will be sharing that whole makeover with you. What I do with everything. And um, I do have some new cushions. I am looking for a couple of throw pillows for the fall as well. While I'm out and about. But we're very grateful to have this big porch, even though it's a huge mess right now. So that will be an upcoming video and project. I will be repainting those or refinishing them with an exterior kind of finish. So if you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed. I'm not sure when I'll be uploading that, but it will be before the porch makeover for fall because I'm going to be using those out here. Okay, so let me share these great marketplace finds. These two chairs were only $200 for the set, if you can believe that. The couple, they are downsizing. I think these were actually their parents, but they are also downsizing as well. And she put these on marketplace and I'm so glad that I was able to get up there and get them because there were several people interested. So the, the leather is like a sagey, maybe olive green. I spent a while yesterday cleaning them up, touching up the wood. The wood is worn on the arms, which is okay because I like that kind of look. Sorry for the shadow. But I did really, really have to scrub that down and I added some stain trying to bring it back to life. The, this one wasn't as bad. You can see it's a little darker. It was worn there. But I don't mind that. I just scrubbed them up, like I said, touched up some of the wood. 
conditioned all the leather and they look great. I love the color and the style. You know, it's very hard to find recliners that don't look like recliners. And so these are very comfortable. I would say they may be as or more comfortable um, as those that we found on Marketplace as well. Now, let me show this to you. This is why, you know, wood tones and colors, it's very, it's hard to coordinate things sometimes. These chairs, I love them, but they come across when you actually put them near a warm wood, they come across as very kind of taupey, I think, like a, they're not a camel color. They just, they come across more as like a, just a light brown. I, I'm not sure how to explain it, but they're not warm. They're not like a warm camel leather. So it's kind of hard to, you know, mix and coordinate furniture. It That warm wood makes these look, I don't know, kind of dingy. I don't know if, if you understand what I'm saying, <laughs> but that that's just the way I see things. So anyway, these were great and I was really happy to find those. And I will now show you the other two tables that I got while I was there. Okay, so please ignore the mess in the rest of the room. I have been bringing things out to decorate in the kitchen and those topiaries that I did a tutorial on a few videos ago, I'm going to finish those up and I'll be using a lot of that stuff in the kitchen. So anyway, these are the tables. Now they're very similar to the ones I already have. As you can see, they're kind of that similar style, I'm sure by a different company. And then I have another one on the other side with this same marble, but the bottom is different that I had painted. So they're all different, but kind of similar. So I picked up that one and she let me have that one for 30. I am going to have to redo it. It does have a decent amount of damage and that's okay. Once I figure out my color scheme, I'm going to paint all of these. Like I need more paint projects, right? So I got that one and then this was just a little end table. It is very low. Uh, I have a couple of ideas for it, and um, it is solid wood. That's what's great about vintage furniture. It does have a lot of wear and some marks on it, so that will be another paint project as well. So I got the that one for 20 and then that one for 30 like I said. And then again, these two chairs were 200 for both of them. And I'm super happy with them. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so I'm having a small catastrophe here and I wanted to show this. So if you have something like this, now I did, I did not want to hang the wreath on the wall. It's, it basically barely fits there. So I had something and wrapped around it and then I just had it secured with a thumbtack into the ceiling. So this is the second time it has fallen forward like this. Luckily that swan is very heavy. So it's kept it from falling forward. So I need to fix this really quick and then we'll get on to me showing you the kitchen. All right, so I got that tacked back up. Hopefully it won't fall again. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some footage of what the kitchen looked like when we first purchased the house. I've gone ahead and cleared almost everything out. I have a couple little things sitting around that were just left, but this is basically a blank slate. Now I wanted to share with you some of the issues with this kitchen. And I think one of the obvious things is that that refrigerator is too small. I'm not sure when they replaced it. I think the house was built in 97 and I think maybe in the mid 2000s or late 2000s, they may have put that little refrigerator in there. It's it is too small for the space and I don't know why every builder if they're not going to do counter depth I don't know why they won't build a refrigerator cabinet. I mean, it's 2023. It's not that much more expensive uh, You know even in new homes they put that tiny cabinet up there and to me it just looks very unfinished So that doorway the open doorway goes to the living room the one that I have those little doors on goes to the master bedroom, a den, laundry, hallway, storage, and the bonus room. 
So we have this whole wall of cabinetry, which is nice for storage, but it is very, to me, it's unattractive. Now, I did not paint any of the shoe molding that was around any of the cabinetry in here because I thought we, A, were going to be ripping this stuff out, or B, I was going to paint it, and then I didn't want to have to paint over um, white paint. So that's why I haven't done anything here. A lot of the cabinets have damage. I will show some of that to you. So again, all of the storage is great, but they have put in these lovely laminate countertops. I'm grateful that they are neutral. And then here they replaced the cover plates, but they did not replace the dingy outlet part, the actual plug part. So all of the outlets in here have like the original almond or whatever color that was, ivory or almond, and then white cover plates. So that looks very nice. Now I know it seems like I'm complaining about a lot of stuff. I'm just pointing some things out to you that I'm, I'm showing these to you so that you can see that this kitchen is, it's just not where I want it to be, but I'm very grateful to have it. I mean, we are grateful to have a kitchen and grateful to have food to cook in it. So we are, again, we're very grateful. I'm just showing you some of the things we would like to change maybe in the next year or so. I'd love to do a full kitchen remodel. So obviously the cabinetry, the backsplash, and the countertops, and then they have these strobing lights in here. They're, they did not put a light rail on to hide this, so you it's very visible. And they have them everywhere. There's three here, and then over there there's one, two. For task lighting, which I understand, but we don't use these. And some of them work, and some of them don't. I don't even think, no, that one doesn't work. But when they do come on, they're like strobing, and it's like this terrible light that's it's not very attractive. So I usually like to do little lamps or things like that. You know, I can do like at Christmas, I did a lot of the little mini lights and so forth. So that helped brighten up that space. Now over here, we did add that shelf over the kitchen window because this right cabinet was just kind of hanging there by itself and it looked very, it looked very odd because they were not connected. So we just simply added that shelf by some brackets up top and then I added two more of those little rods from Hobby Lobby and I will be hanging curtains there. I went ahead and took down the ones from spring and summer and I'm looking for some for the fall. Now these lamps were the ones that were in the living room. If you saw that video where I redecorated, I swapped these out. So these are much taller and I like having lamps here in the kitchen. It adds some interest, especially once I get everything decorated. Okay, so now the layout is okay in the kitchen. There is one issue. Behind this wall here is our laundry room. And as you can see out through there is a nice screened in porch. And the only way to get to that screened porch is to go through that doorway and then go to the right and walk through the laundry room and get out to the sitting screen porch. And so <laughs> what I want to do to make this more functional, if we do redo this kitchen, I want to open up this wall. Of course, we'll redo all the cabinetry and move everything around, but I want to open up this wall and create a walk through to that screen porch. So I want to have a butler's pantry where the laundry room is, which means the laundry has to move. That's a whole nother project. And then you will be able to come into the kitchen. You'll be able to walk through that doorway and there'll be extra storage out there. And I'll probably put the microwave out there, maybe an extra, you know, maybe like a freezer or something. Anyway, it would just be so much more functional to use that laundry room to and have it as an extension of the kitchen and then entrance to that screen porch, which will be a really nice sitting area. So anyway, that's kind of why we're not doing anything. We're just using it as it is. There's a lot that needs done. Um, these countertops, as you can tell, this is one thing that really bothers me. When they put these in, first of all, they're chipped. There's a big chip right there. I tried to touch it up with paint, but the cabinets do have damage on them and so forth. I scrubbed all of them. But anyway, this um, there's a gap there. When they put these in, 
I don't know if it was the cabinetry person or the countertop person or what, but the countertop is cut too short. And so they have one of those goofy rubber things there. So food and so forth doesn't go down beside it. I mean, there's really no way for me to hide that kind of thing. If I move it, um, you'll see the gap. And so anyway, it's not the prettiest thing, but that's what, that's what they had done in here. I'm surprised they did not request for them to fix the countertops when they were having this house built. And then of course the sink is just one of those stainless steel drop-ins. And so we have a lot that we would like to do. Of course we did some things. We changed that lighting fixture. There were two fluorescent lights and a ceiling fan over the island. We did rip out the old island and purchase this at a consignment type store called Birdhouse. It's in Columbia. And I do love this island, but I'll tell you what, I really need a surface that is hard and you can just lay whatever you want out. Like I really need granite. So if we even keep this island at the very minimum, I would need to replace the countertop, the top here with something solid surface so that it's easy to clean dust and crumbs and everything gets down in here. So I'm constantly cleaning it and it scratches fairly easily. So it is very pretty, but I think I would probably repurpose this into maybe a folding station in the laundry room or maybe in like my art studio, whenever I can get that set up, or we may just sell it because I would probably have one built and designed with another like trash pullout, recyclables, different things like that. So as far as function goes, there's a lot to be desired in the kitchen. Uh, this whole wall that, that could be totally changed. We talked about moving the refrigerator over there or making that sort of the cooking wall with the beautiful hood. So of course, everything comes down to time and money and coming up with a design and so forth. So again, here is the kitchen. We are grateful to have it. We're grateful to have food to eat. So I don't want you to think in me showing the flaws of the kitchen that we are ungrateful in any way because we, we truly are. And I'm grateful for all this storage. A lot of people don't have any of that. But as far as from a design perspective and just functionality, as far as getting into that screen porch, it does need some work. And of course, we do have that door that goes out onto the back deck. So anyway, this is what we're going to be working with next in the next video when I decorate for fall. Now, I did want to show you something else I'll be working on, and I'll probably show it in the next video as well. They will be going here in the kitchen. Let me show you these paint projects. All right, so we're in my little makeshift work area. If you haven't heard me say this before, this is a little den area. It's full of stuff. Anyway, I'm using it for my little workspace. Um, we have a bonus room and I want that to be my sort of art studio, workshop, YouTube studio type thing. But for now, I'm using this table. And so I just have some stuff piled up. But this is what I'm working on, some of the things for the kitchen. So this rooster, you may have seen, a lot of people have one very similar. It was just white, kind of French country looking. I think I got it at Carolina Pottery, but they did not have a hen to go with it. And so I found this one that was at, I think an antique store where they have different booths and it was a glossy white. And so I've started painting them and I'm not happy with them. If you know me, you know, I paint things over and over and over. So I started with black on these. Oh, and this is one of those gold turkeys from Hobby Lobby. So I wanted them sort of a neutral stone looking, but not, not too, I don't know how to explain it. I wanted them to sort of be warm and neutral in a French country look, but not white chippy, like a white chippy paint. So anyway, I needed to make these two match so that I could use them together in a display. So I will be painting these and they will be in the next video, most likely. And I am hoping to get them done and use them in the kitchen. But yeah, I'm not real thrilled with the rooster. I don't like that I used black first. Um, it's not really what I was looking for. Kind of liking this softer look right here on this one. I also have these pumpkins here. They were a super bright yellow and they had red speckles on them, I think. They just really looked unnatural. Not that painted ones do, but I am working on those. Obviously they're not finished. And then I also had that one I had painted before a long time ago. I don't like those little stubby stems, so that one's going to get repainted as well. 
So if you don't like your pumpkins, just repaint them if you can, if they're in good shape. They're, they're kind of expensive to buy over and over. And as your style changes, it's, it's good to just slap some paint on them. And I have some more I want to show you I might be redoing. Actually, these I already started. These were sort of a rust color, like a rusty brown, which I liked. And I like that they are slanted. They kind of sit like that, and I really like that. But I didn't like the color anymore. They had like gray on them. I don't know. I just didn't care for them. So those are a work in progress. So are those. And then I have these from Hobby Lobby, I think from years ago. Okay, now these are beautiful the way they are. And I know you're probably like, please don't paint those things. But I, I've already used them, and these remind me a little bit, they're a little bit glam. You know, that glam came into style for a little bit again. And so, I mean, I like them, and, you know, I like gold. I just, I don't know. I want to change. And I do like the shape and all that texture. I think that's really cool. These were fall 2020s when I got these. So, again, I do like them, but... I think I'm going to change them, and there's nothing wrong with that. They'll still have the texture and everything. It's just I'm kind of over that white and gold. I've already used it. So same thing with these. I think I got these at Old Time Pottery, or I forget. Yeah, Old Time Pottery. I don't even know when. But they were $7.99. I think I got them on sale, though. And they have some really awesome texture. But they are sh Now, I like this kind of antique-looking gold. I will say that. Um, but anyway, I may or may not paint those. It just depends. I do like all that texture on there though. So anyway, these are some of the paint projects that I will be sharing in an upcoming video. Maybe the next one, uh, the next video should either be all painting projects. I may do those clustered together or it will be decorating the kitchen. It just depends whether I get those done because I really wanted to use those in a display in the kitchen. All right, you're probably gonna hear some cars and some birds making a lot of racket. So these are the chairs. They are not like the ones that we already have. I thought they were a lot more similar, but they're not in bad shape. Uh, it, we negotiated these down a little bit. They were 60 a piece, which I think is too much. And I didn't want to pay that. And they're supposed to be going half off on everything. I think Saturday, like if things don't sell, so we negotiated these down to $45 a piece, which isn't terrible. They're in great shape, and I already have two chair pads to go in those. So now we have two more chairs. I originally got those recliners that I showed earlier for the back screen porch, but we talked about it, and I think that the moisture, just the humidity, and everything, I think it would pretty much ruin them back there. If we had a glassed-in porch, it would be fine, but... Anyway, we're going to use those somewhere else in the den or somewhere and then pick these up for that back porch. So I got those. Let me show you the little mirrors and the fake books. Okay, so these are the other three items that I purchased at that estate tag sale. These are fake books and they're really nice quality. I think they're leather. They feel like it. They might not be. But I love the colors on them, especially for fall. I thought they were really nice. And it opens up. Okay, it kind of seems like it needs to be elevated. That's a really strong magnet. So it just opens up, and then there are little compartments in here. And if you want to know something that is gross, there are teeth in here. So I'm going to have to... <laughs> Clean these drawers out. Oh goodness. I don't know if the I guess the gentleman had passed away or something. They were they still had some truckloads to bring. So anyway, I, I need to clean this. Definitely. It's very heavy, surprisingly heavy. So I got those, and then just these two little mirrors, our little round one, and an oval one. They were ten dollars a piece, and that's what I paid for those, and they're they're very dirty. Look at that dust. Definitely need to clean those. And this was 15 and they gave it to us for 10 because we purchased the two chairs and the mirror. So we got um, each of those for 10. So I didn't think that was too bad. And that's it. That's all I got today. 
Well, thank you all so much for spending some of your time with me today. I hope you are enjoying decorating for autumn. I hope you're getting a lot of projects done in this beautiful weather. I'm going to take a few minutes and work on the porch here just for a little bit before I go in and get a shower since I went to the gym today and start working on some of the painting and so forth that I'll be sharing with you later on in the upcoming videos. So I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment below. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.